Well, recently I played a video game called Wild Assault. I had a lot of fun playing this game, but it's bringing up other questions around this channel. And obviously there's a lot of things going on around the channel since I've gone to a furry convention. It's put into flux of who I am and what I do around this channel. And I gotta say, nothing's gonna change. I'm still gonna talk out about what's going on in the video game world. And I'm still gonna talk out about absolute disparaging things like Sweet Baby Inc. trying to blackmail companies or, or downright be despicable when it comes to narratives in video games. Those things don't change. That's still who I am and what I do here on the channel. Other things have come up. People are asking a lot of questions and I have a lot of people that, a lot of new friends it seems, that are very supportive in that sense. So, where does that lie on the channel? I'm not entirely sure. Where does that really put me? You know, I, I remember going back video that I did from the convention saying, you know, I always probably feel like a tourist and, and that really truly does suspend true, but it also brings home a little bit more of what is actually going on. You know, when, when I created this channel, uh, and with the Cinder Shadow and the Phoenix, that was never anything that came across to my mind. You know, uh, I look around, I have beautiful artwork, uh, phoenixes, I've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the background, I've got tons of, I got a Stan Lee print for Christ's sake, Princess Monoke in the background. You know, these are all things that are animal based and stuff that I've always done around the channel. One of my favorite movies is Lilo and Stitch when I'm absolutely down and depressed, I will throw that thing on there and it brightens my day. So now the question comes up, am I a furry? Well, I don't know. It's the answer that is still going through my head. You know, I've spoken to a lot of people in direct messages, in other discords now, in just walking through this journey. And I'm finding things about myself that I never realized were there that are furry-like. And that's the difference on all of this. You know, I've used the Phoenix throughout all my life. It's something like my elementary school mascot was the Phoenix. The school that I went to in elementary, when they opened originally in 1911, it burnt to the ground and was rebuilt in 1912. They used the Phoenix to symbolize things in that school because it rose from the ashes of that fire. And that's part of the reason why that school used their mascot. And it's something that's always resonated with me. Throughout my life, age of 16, I lived on the streets for about seven months. Uh, I used that to renew myself and become something anew um, th throughout video games uh, like Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy VII. My favorite summons are the Phoenix Summon, and that's been something that's always stuck with me. When it comes to a video game or comes to the motif, anything that has to do with anything for a Phoenix, and that's why I have shaped that around the channel. But once again, does that make a person a furry? I don't know. You know, recently I wa I've been watching a lot of videos where you, you sit there and you watch and you go, okay, well, this is the denial stage. This is the acceptance stage where you go through the processes of that sort of fandom and your self-discovery. And one thing that I know for sure, when I was at that convention, I saw things very much different to what I see in the outside world today. It's not like where you have CSI, where they're disparaging showcasing of furries out there. And it's a very different story once you get into one of these conventions. It's a very welcoming community. Everyone just wants to be there. They just want to have fun. They, they just want to show off their $6,000 fursuit. Uh, you know, a lot of money goes through these uh, conventions and that's probably one of the main reasons why these conventions continue to go today. There are thousands if not millions of people that are part of the furry fandom and I think I would be doing myself a disservice by not recognizing that, uh, especially here around the channel. The, the hashtag or the, the tagline that I use at the end of my videos, your proud Canadian Phoenix. Well, you know, there's other things that go along with that. I am Canadian. I am proud to be a Canadian, even though we have a government system that is uh, failing the, the general public right now. Um, but at the same time, I also rise from the ashes like the Phoenix. 
You know, I look at the, uh, the Fort McMurray wildfires, for example, and recently the Jasper wildfires that have happened here in Alberta. And I know the fire that blanketed these places that burnt things to the ground, it creates a scenario where renewal and rebirth comes back from it. Uh, the phoenix, something from ancient Egypt in that sense, as a mythical creature. But then I sit there and I think, do we anamorphize it? Do we turn it into something more? Then we ask the question again, am I a furry? Well, that's the biggest, the hardest question of all to answer. I have to say, I am very friendly with a lot of people in, the, in those fandoms right now. Uh, mostly because I went to that furry convention and I think I think I've gained a little bit more of a respect for the people that are willing to put on one of these suits especially if they put on one of these suits and break dance in them and move the way they do I've never seen anything quite like that before where I watch someone in a full-on fur suit sit there stand on their head and jump back to their feet That is not something normal and let alone some something normal any person can normally do but then you add in the the fursuit and it is absolutely next level when you see something like that i see all the artwork that comes out you know recently i i, I watched a video where where people were like well you know zootopia has got a lot of people into uh into f furry fandom and I remember when that movie came out and I, I was making jokes about it and I had a couple people turn to me and go, well, you're, you're just becoming a furry if you're going to say these things about that movie. Well, that's uh, part of the denial, isn't it? Uh, I think that's part of where things are. Um, you know, I, I watched a video where they called, who, who doesn't like a, a furry rabbit bubble butt? And I laughed my ass off because it's absolutely downright funny, but I don't, I don't look at it at the sexual level. I, I look at it as the artwork is actually something great. Uh, I, I see an outlet. I see things that are creative. I see independent artists. And I think that's the major story here is that you have a whole fandom of independent artists that can't be bought off. They're never going to be bought off by a corporation because they're independent they create these personas and those personas can never be purchased by a corporation you can't have hasbro sticking their hands into this fandom they're gonna try and try to appeal to it but they will never be able to take away what someone creates unlike the creation of say dungeons and dragons by old school tsr and gary gygax where hasbro was able to buy up everything around that and say it's ours now Nobody can turn around and say that they're buying up your creation. They can buy up artwork of it, but it's still something you own. And I think that's the independent side of everything. Much like what we see here on YouTube, where you have a lot of independent artists telling you news day in, day out, telling you, making you laugh, making everybody happier. And I think that's where I sit right now. I just look at it as an independent creation of something greater and i i think there's a lot of uh people out there that just don't quite understand that and i think that's why there is the disparaging side of the furry fandom yes there are people that will dress up in kink style outfits that will get into bondage gear and do what they do and generally they do it uh behind closed door in an adult setting that is up for them to do that. And I could care absolutely less that people are doing that in an adult setting. Once you get minors involved, that's a little bit more of a, uh, of a story. And now we need to step back and say, listen, what you're doing here is wrong. But as long as they're consenting adults and they're doing what they're doing behind closed doors, I give two craps about what a person does with their own body, with them within their own loved ones at that point. That has nothing to do with me. Me personally, I'm just going through the motions here and I'm just trying to discover something of a creative spark, something more to bring to this channel, something more in life. And I think I've been lacking that for quite a while. So I have to say those that don't like that, I'm sorry, but the doors to the left, you, you can easily find your way out. 
those that want to stick around and see the journey that we're on, have a lot of laughs, have a lot of fun, and make downright despicable, disparaging jokes at it all at the expense of myself, then let's stick around. Let's have some fun. I recently did, I recently hopped into a lethal company and it was the most, it was the most fun two hours of my life because none of us cared what anyone thought. And the, some of the jokes that went on through that was something that is legendary. And if you haven't gone to see that, that separate video that I've posted on the channel, I think you're missing out. Had nothing to do with furries, but it was just something that was downright hilarious and funny. And you know what? Everyone is a down bad every once in a while, and I think you gotta stick to it. So, I'm gonna leave it here. This has uh, been a 10 minute rant, or 11 minute rant at this point, about what's going on around the channel. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. I'm here to stay, and I'm just gonna keep making content, and keep trying to propel myself forward as a independent YouTuber, uh, just trying to make his mark on the world. Thanks for watching. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix in the Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.